uh, welcome to another tutorial of our tutorial video series. In this tutorial, I will be um, guiding you through how to use our tool Keyword Importer. Uh, Keyword Importer essentially is the tool we create to uh, help you utilize our two very important functions of Writer Zen, which is a golden filter and um, clustering, auto clustering keyword. So with golden filter and auto clustering keyword, um, the issue is that um, a lot of time, um, a lot of uh, our users were actually using many other keyword research tool like either Ahref, SEMrush, or um, keywordtool.io to gather a list of keyword in which they want to target. Um, yet none of the other tools actually have the same function that we have, whereas you can uh, utilize all entire data as well as grouping them together and that is where our keyword import come in handy. Um, you can simply, the, the goal is the tool is simply uh, a place for you to import whatever keyword that you can have. It can come either from external sources like SEMrush, um, well just a keyword list you gather from any other tools or either any other place and that in the form of um, you can just import them in, uh, in here. You can also import them directly from a file, so you can just uh, put that in. And at the moment, we only support TXT file. We can probably will get Excel and all other files later on in future. Uh, but just browse your files and um, select the TXT file in which you want to import in here. Or you can import directly internally from from your process of doing keyword research using Writer Zen. For example, when you are using our Keyword Explorer and you get yourself a big list of keywords, 3,000 of them, you save them into a keyword list and which you can access up top in the top right corner uh, of the screen here. Um, just simply click on import from list and you'll be able to kind of get them directly from whichever list that you have. For example, you select the list of nutrition plan here, click import and right away we will show you the list of the keyword that you have. Um, over here, uh, set the project name, uh, location, language. Um, you can save them as default if um, you continue. You, if you if your project requires one place and is is uh, let's say France or Japan, just click save language and location as default. And next time come back, it will be remaining as that. Um, then just click simply click add. Once you add, we'll start the process of collecting data and we'll show you in a in a sort of like a, a table side uh, board, um, all the data that needed, for example. So as you can see here, so this is the keyword data. Um, the first thing we do is that we will scan through all of the list of keywords you have um, through our um, Google database to show you all of this um, the information, trend, for search volume, CPC, the word count, PPC. You also can, can change the volumes here, uh, the columns here as well. Oh, the filter here act the same as um, the filter you would have in Keyword Explorer for you to play around with. Um, then right away you will see the cluster function as well as the golden filter function. So if you click on cluster function, you again will see you can either cluster um, the selected keyword after you have done your filter. Um, assume like for example here if you do, you do a quick filter. Um, you select here, you have a list of 501 keywords selected. And so you can just cluster the 501. When you click on here, again, another another pop-up will appear um, and it will actually show you um, the, the, the level, the setting of, of clustering. So you can set up the, the clustering level um, up to from three ranging to seven similar results. So the, 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 the mechanism behind this is that we're actually going to pick keyword that have seven similar search results on the in the top ten uh, search result of them. So for like keyword A and keyword B, if they have seven similar URLs uh, appear similar um, um, comparable in their top ten search result, we'll actually group them together. So the higher the number of the similar search result, the tighter the result will become and more accurate it will be. Uh, but at the same time, you won't get as many results as you wish. For example, out of 500, you may only get like 200 keywords that belong to a group, but the rest 300 you may not be able to find. And that's where you will want to reduce this clustering level to three or four in order to get those kind of results uh, coming together. Okay, and then you just create a new project, create a new cluster project. 
Um, however, if you if you just simply select all like this and you click cluster, cluster all, we will we don't you don't need to create a new cluster project. It will automatically pop a you click activate, it will create another tab over here so that all of your information, if you create the same keyword list, it will appear on the same cluster. So that's that's the first thing, which is the cluster function that I work in in a keyword importer. Now remember, you could do this with any external sources of key, keyword that you have. Um, second thing is golden filter. Simply click on it, and then we'll actually deduct all the golden filter credits, uh, all the key, keyword, and then um, we we'll give you the golden start to score to calculate the own title data as well as the golden score data over here. So um, essentially, is uh, keyword import is the tool we create so that it could act almost as a bridge um, for you to utilize either the keyword source from outside or internal keyword source that you use our keyword explorer to to get and just put them in here and then start using our function to um, so that to improve and uh, better your 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 workflow. Um, I think I think that's it. Um, other than that, this tool uh, just do exactly as it does. Um, just I was sharing with you. So make sure that you find and or research a list of keywords from external sources, um, input them in here, and make sure when you cluster, you have to do a good filtering work first, and then only you will cluster. If you cluster selected, it will, you we will actually automatically create a new project on that for you. Okay, so I think that's it for Qt Importer. Um, there's nothing, nothing uh, much to share. Remember, turn on textbook mode if you are confused of any of the term here. If you turn on te textbook mode, you will just hover to any of the button, and um, we'll show you the definition uh, of of that. And some some will actually even give you example um, to use. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you very much for listening in, and uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And um, if you have any questions, shoot us an email at support at writerzen.net. Uh, our staff happy will have, be happy to help you out uh, on how to utilize our tool. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.